talk to me. Is it more likely Dallas makes the Super Bowl or is bounced early? Yeah, I think it's more likely they make the Super Bowl. When we look at the Cowboys in kind of this last four or five week stretch, after that huge run of wins they had in a row, one of the things that we haven't really kind of respected when it comes to the Cowboys is the decimation, de decimation they dealt with with injury. CeeDee Lamb missed games. Amari Cooper missed games. Tyron Smith missed games. Ezekiel Elliott ha has been 80%. Randy Gregory, arguably their best pass rusher outside of Micah Parsons, missed games. Demarcus Lawrence hasn't been playing. So, you know, we talk about like a team like the Ravens, and we reference all their injuries, and we marvel at what they've accomplished and because of those injuries, and we're not kind of saying, okay, Dallas has not played great. I don't want to pretend that they have, but the struggles have been a little bit attached to those injuries. And if and when this team gets healthy, I think they're going to represent the team that we saw really the first seven weeks of the season more so than the one that we've seen over the last four or five weeks. I still believe in the offensive line when they're healthy as long as they're pulling people. I got to see Dak Prescott play better. He's got to be way better within the pocket than he has been. And I think the playoffs will all be about matchups. We saw this team and how they played against Tampa Bay. I think they match up well against Arizona. I think they match up well against Green Bay. I think they match up well against the Rams. And so I, I get that they have not played well, but if Randy Gregory comes back and Micah Parsons continues to play at the level that we've seen and they get some of those bodies back on offense, I just believe that this football team still is one of the four or five best in the NFC, <laughs> and it's more likely they go on a run than somebody knocks them out week one. <laughs> I love that last line. They wanted the a four or five. You know what I'm saying? Notice that they want a four or five. I want the top two. Want a four or five. That means you got three teams at least that can knock them off. And these are the Cowboys that we're talking about. So that's exactly what they're, what's going to happen. These brothers going home, they might not win a playoff game. They might not win a playoff game, Dan Olofsky. Matter of fact, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much predicting it. Now, obviously, if the Eagles or or somebody like that squeeze in there, the Eagles and that's are a the, bad matchup and, for them. I'm saying, and that's the first round game that the Dallas Cowboys get. I'm not even speaking the Eagles. I'm just speaking one of those teams that just struggle to squeeze in as a six or seventh seed, and that's who the Dallas Cowboys get. All right, I give you a chance. But I'm talking about the big three here. I'm talking about Arizona. I'm talking about Tampa Bay. I'm talking about Green Bay. Dallas ain't beating those teams. Dallas ain't beating those teams. They're going to find a way. And let me tell you something right now. I will tell you this. This is the thing. Adversity in terms of people counting them out, that's fair. This team has elevated to a point where they rise above those ashes. But the second you speak glowingly about them, the second expectations are thrown on their shoulders, they will collapse. Now, we've got, we've got evidence. Like you said, Dallas Cowboys 71. All of a sudden, they won three of the last four games. They lost three of their last four games. We yeah. got a running back in Ezekiel Elliott. He needs some rest one minute. Jerry Jones is saying he don't need rest the next, but he's clearly hobbled. Jerry we got Tony him. Pollard who can ball, but he's underutilized. And we all know he needs to be utilized more. He's got breakaway speed. He's got game changer speed. Obviously, he's a playmaker. He's got more elusivity in his favor than Ezekiel Elliott. They don't use him enough. They want to throw the football. One minute CeeDee Lamb is catching him, another minute he's dropping him. One minute he's getting tackled, another minute he's out concussed. Amari Cooper, one minute he's available, another minute COVID protocols against Kansas City when you knew damn well you're supposed to have yourself available. Got the owner on talk radio in Dallas saying, it ain't about me, it's about we. And having to give that inspirational lecture to a dude he given $21 million a year to and gave $100 million contract, dude. You just can't make this stuff up. You just can't make this stuff up, okay? You got Michael Gallup. He was out and about. He's back, okay? You got the offensive line that was supposed to be studs, but now supposedly it's in tatters, and they don't know how good they're going to be from week to week. Then the coach goes out. What happens with him? He got the He's subjected to COVID protocols, and then we got to have some big some, 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 some big discussion. Some big discussion. Well, what are they going to do? I mean, uh, he's going to coach virtually. I mean, like all of a sudden, Mike McCarthy is so valuable, so valuable that him not being in attendance could be catastrophic for this uh, for this army of individuals that's supposed to be ready to go against anybody. We got a guy in Micah Parsons that pro football focus 
calls the best pass rusher in the game of football. We know what he brings to the table. We got Trayvon Diggs that went seven straight games to start the season with an interception before he tailed up a little bit. Demarcus Lawrence is there. Then he's out. Okay, we got Leo Collins. We got – he's out. You got cats like him well, sitting there the trying point, to bribe Stephen testing. A. All I'm saying to you is this. You got him trying to bribe test detectors and all of this other stuff. Every single week, something has happened – to remind you that no matter how they look, no matter how they look, they are who they are. And when it really, really counts, they will fold. Michael Irvin is watching this right now. Know, he's, sweat, he's sweating. He's sweating. Let me nervous. ask you a question. Keyshawn got... Johnson, Keyshawn Johnson oh. comes on here on Tuesday. Keyshawn he won Marcus. a Super Bowl championship with Tampa Bay, trying to act like he a cowboy. He didn't win a Super Bowl with the Cowboys. He won a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. But he seems to have forgotten that. We got Swag Goo hiding one minute, bloviating his neck, sticking out his chest, trying to intimidate everybody with all his huffing and puffing. It ain't going to matter. The Dallas Cowboys will fall. You can book it. It's the given. It's who they are and it's right. what they do. And y'all just wait. I, you I got just two wait. questions. You I got two wait. questions Go for ahead. you. All Go right, ahead. so they play Washington this weekend they in gonna Washington. They're going to lose this I think they're going to lose this week. Okay, okay. All right. so I, I, I need to ask you a question. So yeah. if they lose to Washington, I truly yeah. believe the division is going to come down to week 18 in yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. You coming with me? Because I'm bringing the wife and the kids to that game. So I need to know if you come with me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. In Philly. Wait a minute. Now, if I could show up, you know, I got to be in the suite, right? I can't, I can't sit in the stands. God bless. Understand? I'm not sitting in the stands no more. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a sweet kind of guy now. I got to have some sweet. I'll I got to be in a suite. Calls. I got to be in a suite. I got to have some, some plus seats. Is that a yes? And I got to have some catered food. We going? If you're talking that. I'll do that. I roll right. up there with if you. If they lose this I roll weekend, up there with you. we go in the I roll week up there 18. With you. And then if it comes down to them, if it comes down to the last game of the season, yeah, I, I will go would. with you. I, I will go it, with you to that game. Right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.